so good morning greetings of the day uh, happy new year and uh, take care okay so now we are going to see some of the interview questions or quiz questions on 5 uot and beam forming so i think you might know that um, that presentation is already done and uh, it's been uh, uploaded long back so based on that presentation i have prepared a few questions so that will be it will make you to recap what is uh, you know what is there in that presentation so now let's see a few questions the first one is why we go for as in this presentation we will see only questions the next presentation so you know for a few questions in the next so i am planning to present it as a four parts okay and the, the corresponding answer will be presented in another four parts okay so that you know you can uh, try these four i uh, uh, you know four questions videos i know just to try to answer and then you can, um, i will post the answer video also so that you can match so you can quickly recap uh, what you have learned okay uh, the first is why we go for beam forming okay so in the, in the presentation um, uh, in the doing my yg 5g ot and beam form beam forming presentation i have mentioned that you know um, channel capacity theorem shannon's capa capacity channel capacity theorem so uh, by that time he would have explained why we go for beam forming okay and so that you can uh, you know you can answer from this uh, thing okay um my mom introduced in which technology so that i think uh, you know very well okay next is uh, 5g form of the 5g deployment modes okay IG deployment modes is uh, what are all they okay because you know IG you know not going to be deployed individually okay it is there are some cases are available you can mention next is centralized base band is widely used in which cell okay because you know centralized base band i think we have discussed in some of the presentation like uh, why we go for centralized base band in order to avoid you know uh, i uh, you know uh, <coughs> so small network infrastructure so so we need not have a all core network at each side so we centralize the baseband processing at one location so it is especially used for few application that is there okay next is match the following okay so there is this use cases of 5g okay so some of the use cases of 5g and uh, so map that into match a magical triangle okay that is a magical triangle available so that you have to in that magical triangle um, i have presented presented all the you know uh, the things like uh, some of the applications for so under each use cases so that you have to map here okay next is very high speed data rates certainly achieved in uh, 5g by employing what okay so that uh, i think it's uh, from it's a basic thing so that you can see okay um what are all technologies that can probably coexist with uh, 5g so uh, not probably uh, you know that are planning to coexist with i think i plan to coexist with the 5g because you know it is uh, supporting to 5g in many aspects okay so that's what so thank you all